make sculpture and this is my studio in Glen Quaich. I've got a piece of work in the watercolour exhibition. The piece in the show is a sculpture, it's a hanging sculpture, it's made from cellophane with various different kinds of paint on it. It's got um, acrylic paint, emulsion paint and some watercolour as well as other materials like toothpaste, some lip gloss and nail varnish. That may not be true, <laughs> the nail varnish bit. I can't remember what's on it, it's got all kinds of things. It might have done like shampoo and uh, like hair gel and things like that, but I just can't, I can't remember. I should have looked at the materials list. Within watercolour you can get so many different effects then, it's like uh, so many different kinds of paint, but you are just using the one, the one substance, so just depending on how much water I used with the watercolour paint on the cellophane surface, you know at times it, it's completely see-through, just a hint of colour and then other times I would use it with hardly any water at all and you get quite a build up, quite a, a form and then I could continually sort of water it down in grades to really sort of see what could be done with that colour. This is the beginnings of a piece of work that I'm making for the Venice Biennale and it will eventually become a very tall layered sculpture that looks a bit like a cake. This is an experiment with plaster powder that's been sieved onto the floor and then thrown into the plaster are these things called bath bombs. It has once been perfect, then it's been in some way sort of damaged I suppose and then in some way repaired so that that whatever has happened there be it has become part of its overall character. I just work out of my unconscious and out of my own desire saying I want to do that, I want to do that and so I do and then I try to think about what I've done. I don't want it to be um, just pure gesture in a way that's just a sort of acting out of something in a way that's uh, a self-indulgence to think that's enough to not work back into it so in a way I suppose I have to work back into it like a painter. It's a really formal way of working, it's really just thinking about aesthetics in an abstract sense and always thinking about just the composition and the relationships between form and colour. That's really painterly, I think that, you know, that's what a painter does. In the end I'm, I'm bringing that sensibility and that process like into sculpture and it's not like it's a painted sculpture, you know? That whole um, process of, of painting then is the sculpture.